G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday RV install. Now this week, we've got another little pretty one on the next gen Ranger, but first of all, we must have a beer. Cheers legends. Mm. Obviously I love the old uh, frothies now. Obviously it's getting to me guts now. <laughs> yes, the Aloha a Pale Ale. No, was it? Aloha Pale Ale. Now these things are absolutely good. Hopefully you guys have been out and tried them. Ballistic Beer Co. Up here in Queensland, a local little brute. Mm, beautiful. Now, righto, so, first step of this install, this is a really easy install. So you're obviously here because you've seen our back window molly panel. Now this thing's basically designed, there's a little bit of space that can be utilized up behind the headrest of the back seat on your rear window. So we wanted to make it, if you did want to look out of it still, you still can, but create something where you can put first aid kits, have some grab bags, you know, all your little random items you just punch up there in your grab bags, whatever it is you've got, just to wrap up there, they sit just behind the headrest nicely, won't interfere with your rear passengers, and ultimately is out of the way, and it's awesome. So we thought we'd develop something pretty cool, and here we are. So you're gonna get, now they're not gonna be this rough, let me tell you, I just cut these up with a bloody Stanley knife, but we have got a heap of these on ordered. So we've got a heap of these little round 15 mil diameter or 20 mil diameter squares. Anyways, wherever they are, coming in this stuff so you can actually put this stuff on. But basically what the go will be, so you'd be supplied enough, so on these little ones, you can put two there, one, two. On the bottom here, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, is what you'll do. I don't have enough to cut it up tonight, so I'm just gonna show you to tell you, but you can have two of these on here. More the merrier, you know, whatever you got, more the merrier. So you're gonna pre, now the first thing you need to do with this stuff, if you haven't seen it already, this is called, a product called Jewel Lock out of um, 3M. So basically what you do with this product, you need to clean the surfaces first with a bit of acetone or nail polish removing, you know, thinners, any of that. Wipe it down so it's nice and clean. Peel that, do not touch this with your fingers. Make sure the surface is dried. And then you apply it to the surface, like so. Apply a little bit of pressure. Yep, beautiful, it's on there. Now the glue will set. The glue takes 24 hours to set, but after one hour, it will hold 80% from memory. So after one hour, it'll hold 80% of the weight. After 24 hours, it'll hold 100%. Now each one of these little squares, off the top of my head, now don't quote me if you go look at the charts, because I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure it's something like 2.2 kilos per square in a, in a pool like that, if you have the correct rating. Now there's different ratings. Now you've got 100 mushrooms with 250 mushrooms, 100 with 400, blah, blah, blah. So if you've got the correct rating, ones when you buy this stuff that that will hold the weight so anyways that's what we're going with because really really strong stuff so you're going to be having like 10 kilos of force across this thing you know plus more because the rating one we're using is actually a bit heavier i believe but anyways so i'll put another couple on here get that done let's pretend i put three across here one two three we're going to put two because i'm running low you know, jam one there. You know what I love about you guys? No one really judges me, Hal. They're, they're pretty good. You guys are good. You just don't really judge. You get that. I'm trying to drop, we're trying to drop products weekly. And sometimes you don't quite have enough stuff organized when we film. But by the time we drop the products, we've got it here. So it is what it is. I just got to keep filming, keep dropping products so we can get them out. There's so many ideas and not enough hours in the day to get them out. Another one up here. God, I put that the wrong way, but that's okay. And these are all a bit long, but. No one will see them in the photos. <laughs> and this last one up over here, like so. So now the next step of this, we're gonna go into the car. So these are all on, oh, a bit of pressure. So I'm gonna be pulling this one back out, so I'm not, I'm not overly concerned. The next step of this process is very easy. If you come in here, we'll have a look. You stay there, Al, I'll jump on the other top. Righto, so. You'll see here, there's a little tag. You pull on that, pull it up, and then just pull the seat forward. Oh, why is the seat not coming forward? Oh, there we go, that was weird. Anyways, seat goes forward, very, very easy. Now, I like to pull the front seats forward for this, so forward. Al's gonna be a legend, you're a gentleman, Al. Now look, I'm not, I'm not rich. <laughs> I was just fortunate enough that the only car they give us was a Sport. We had the XLT before, so we got fancy electric seats now. Way too fancy for this car, let me tell you. <laughs> So then, now we can get in here and access this area nice and easily. 
We're going to pretend we've wiped all this down, give it a full clean with the alcohol wipes. It's going to sit across here, up there, sort of tuck in there and down that side and tidy up nicely. I'm going to come back around on the other side. Now we're going to do a bit of a recommendation here because I've made a lot of silly mistakes in my time. You got to hop in here first. Oop. There we go. So now we can sit on here. First thing we want to do, so this way you can peel these off without sticking them to anything on the way in the car and ruining the glue. Because you don't want to ruin this glue. If you peel these off, touch them with your fingers, get any other oils or dust on there, you can, you can stuff the glue up and it won't stick very well. Then you're going to lose your, your strength and bonding of the glue. On the back of these jewel locks. This part's a little bit tricky, but not too bad. Oh, I just touched one with my finger, didn't I? <laughs> but anyways, this one's gonna come out. So that's okay. So next step, we're gonna, you wanna, you kinda wanna try and get it in, get it up, and then sort of put it in place, like so. I'm gonna set that. So you just gotta set it to where it's good. Now you'll see here, this one's tried to go, yeah, push that one down, push that one on, push that in. So push your sides in, hold them there for a few seconds. They're on, pull these ones down, make sure these are stuck. Now, I learned a previous video I've done, not to bloody pull on these too soon because it just peels back off and then ruins the glue. Not nope, like that, exactly what I did there. So you wanna get everything right, get it all settled in and then don't touch it. <laughs> Just leave it. When you do this job, put this in when you're gonna leave the car at night or for the day and not gonna to touch it and let all this bond and stick together. Like what I've done here. So then, this should be amazing. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is magic. Now, I actually did boo-boo this up. I've given you a boo-boo run. Uh-oh, I need to cut one more. So what you should have done when I was putting this in, very sorry, is there should be one up under there. But what we're probably gonna do is we're probably gonna send it out with the glue already, with them already glued onto here. So they're on there. I'll try, I'll try and work that into it. But you need to put one up under there too to hold this bit. And I forgot all about that. Sorry, Steve, you did tell me that and I forgot. So I'm just gonna quickly cut one more because I've got one more little bit there and I'll jam that up on there. All right, we're back, we're on, we're racing. Let's not forget, grand final tomorrow. Broncos v Panthers. So it's going to be a great game. Except it's already happened at this point. Oh, yeah, my bad. Except by the time you guys see this, it's already happened. <laughs> and, of course, the Broncos have won. And Steve owes me re rules, reels. He owes me one thing. 10,000, 10,000 reels. Now that is Iranian um, currency and it's about five cents. So it doesn't matter. And I've got like $10 for gene money there. So I'm having a bit of a thing from when we've traveled like ta, 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 get our money done. But anyway, so I'm gonna win. I've won two so far. So we're definitely winning. So anyways, back to the point of this ADHD moment there. We're gonna have to put probably three or four across the top here, a couple there and so on. You'll, there will be detailed instructions in your box or they'll come pre-stuck on because I've really butchered that up for you. But anyways, that is a wrap on this one. Thanks Al, you're a gentleman. Right on legends, that's a wrap on this one. As always, if you like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, up here, over there, wherever you like. Make sure you share this product, let all your friends know about it if you love it. And of course, if you love it, when you get it, leave us reviews. If you don't like it, leave us reviews anyway, but I am confident you're going to love it. Now, thank you for all the support. We're 12 months in. We're absolutely loving it. We've got so many more products to come. Make sure you tune in next week. We'll see you all next week, legends. Shoo!